Hi guys, welcome to this week's edition of Brain Gist. In the last couple of videos, I've been talking about lifestyle issues that need to be addressed in order for migraine to improve, both in terms of migraine frequency and migraine severity. I've talked about a couple of things like water intake, sleep, you know, addressing stress and other issues. So today I'll be focusing on the role of exercise. You might be wondering, does exercise have anything at all to do with migraine? Is, is there any connection at all? So I'll be talking about it very shortly. But first of all, I'd like to welcome you back to the channel for those of you who've been watching very frequently and regularly. And for those who are watching for the very first time, this is Brain Gist. This is where I educate people about the brain and its disorders and the often missing aspect of things, and that's education. Uh, that's provided in this channel with the aim of helping people live better lives in spite of having those disorders. So if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so and also turn on your notification. All right, so exercise is extremely important. That's something that shouldn't be neglected. And I'm sure because of busy clinic schedules, these are things we probably often forget to talk about in the clinic. So we've got patients, we've got fantastic results in terms of reducing their headache numbers and severity just by you know incorporating exercise into their schedules so the whole idea is to make sure that you, you know, identify any form of exercise that you can do regularly that you know you enjoy doing and making sure it becomes a regular part of your life and also making sure you do that regularly and you see your headache numbers going down so some patients also told me which i found really interesting that when the headaches are happening or going on, uh, if they, you know, exercise during that period, it helps them, you know, even take their attention away from the headache and even help to resolve the headache. That's fantastic. Nevertheless, what I'm talking about today is it has to do with the exercise you do on those days that you do not have headaches. So that can potentially help you, you know, improve your headache numbers. So the forms of exercise vary. So it could be, you know, jogging, it could be running, it could be, you know, indoor games like um, table tennis, like volleyball, or just running on a treadmill. But whatever you find, swimming is also one form of exercise. I mean, or even playing badminton or whatever, tennis, whatever form of exercise suits you that you enjoy doing, that's going to really help. And when I say that this exercise has to be regular, uh, or frequent, um, how frequent should it be? So I encourage you to do this form of exercise for at least 30 to 45 minutes a day and then at least three days a week. So you need at least three to five days of such exercises per week and then it has to last about 30 to 45 minutes. So that can potentially, you know, have a positive impact on your headache number so it's not entirely about medications so I encourage you to build that into your lifestyle and see your headaches improve i hope you learned something from this video today if you did please give it a thumbs up share it and subscribe and also turn on your notifications so that you do not miss all of my future videos so thanks for watching today again and i'll see you in my next video so bye for now and stay safe.